Hey guys, what's up? It's Mob Two Over Seven is Brown, and today I'll be showing you guys how to root your Android device on the 2.1.2.1 firmware, and I'll be announcing the winner of my $25 iTunes gift card giveaway. So make sure to watch for that later in the video. And sorry for making this a delayed video. Uh, I'm just a couple of days late. I was supposed to announce the winner on December 24th, and I think today is December 28th, so that's four days. Yeah, sorry about that. So uh, yeah, so let's just get on with the video. Alright, so Google released the 2.2.1 update for all the Android devices. This wasn't really a big update, but it had some minor improvements. And since I have a Droid X, I'll be showing you how to root that 2.2.1 update using the Droid X. But this method should work for all your Android devices. Alright, so first you're going to need to make sure that you're updated to the 2.2.1 Android OS. And to do that, all you do is go to your settings and you go down to about phone and you click on system update and you should look for an available update and if there is one then install it but if you're already updated to it then it should say that there's no update found alright so after that you're gonna need to uh, connect your phone to your computer and put in USB debugging mode and I'll show you how to do that right now alright so you connect your phone to your computer And you scroll down, click on USB connection, and select USB mass storage. It should be the third one down. And click OK. And now I'll show you what you have to do on your computer. You connected your phone to your computer. You're going to need to download this Z4 root app, and I'll have a link in the description below. So once you download it, save it to your desktop, and then we're going to go into your phone's files. So you're going to go to my computer and they're going to go to removable disk and now you have to make a new folder in your phone and it's going to be called z for root so just right click click new and click folder and you'll have a folder so you click so you make the folder and then you drag the z for root app into the folder like this and since i already have it in there i'm just going to have i'm just going to click cancel and now it should be in your folder so then we're going to exit out of this and now we're going to go back to our phone. Alright, so after you've done everything on the computer and you've disconnected your phone, you're going to go to the Files app on your Android phone. Uh, it's already pre-installed, so you could just go to it. And then you're going to go to Phone Files. And you're going to go to the, uh, the folder that's called Z4 Root. It should be at the bottom, right here. See, it'll look something like that. Z4 root and you click on it and it'll have a Z4 root dot one dot three dot zero dot APK and you click on that and then you're gonna click install but mine's already installed so it's just gonna have me replace it so I'm not gonna do that and once you've installed it you'll have a file I mean uh, you'll have an app that's called a Z4 root right here this is what it's called so you're going to click on it, and since mine is already uh, rooted, it, mine says reroot or unroot, you're going to click on permanent root, and then just follow the instructions on the screen, and uh, it should be successfully rooted after it reboots. And then after it reboots, you're going to, to make sure that it's rooted, you're going to need to go down, and you should have this app. It's called uh, Super User. What Super User does is that whenever you download an app that requires rooting, Super User, Super user uh, allows access to use that app. So just to show you. And these are all the apps that I have that are only for rooted devices. Alright, now since you're done installing the root and you have the Super User app on your phone, that means that you have successfully rooted. So now you'll be able to tether from your phone for free without having to pay the monthly charge and you'll be able to download free games and do other stuff too alright so now let's go and I'll announce the winner for the giveaway alright so now for the winner of the giveaway uh, to win this giveaway all you had to do was comment on my video as many times as you wanted and if you had commented the most then you would have won and the giveaway lasted for about two weeks and there are uh, over 400 comments so the person who won the giveaway and 
will win and will get the $25 iTunes gift card is Concord72. Uh, congratulations, Concord72. You have won the, give uh, the gift card. So now just send me a message uh, confirming your identity and I'll just send you the code for the gift card. And thanks for everyone else who entered the giveaway. Uh, you'll be able to win some other stuff next time. I'll be giving away uh, other stuff rather than a $25 iTunes gift card. And don't forget to comment.